they couldn't find the packages at first, so I had to sit and wait, and someone went in the back, and they didn't seem very happy since they were so busy, you know, kind of going out of their way to find someone's packages. Mail problems continue to be an issue in the Valley. After Valley News Live first brought you a story about missing mail in one Fargo neighborhood, we received many more calls about other neighborhoods having the same issue. Valley News Team's Rose Itzkovitz answers your question, what's going on with the mail service in town? When I got back to my apartment, I opened my mailbox and um, the package wasn't in there. It wasn't on the floor. After his first package went missing, Jordan Risher contacted the Postal Service in Prairiewood. The Inspector General had said, hey, make a comment in uh, your delivery instructions to make sure they don't leave it on the floor and to put it in your mailbox or to just hold it at the post office. And so that's what I did. He was answered with this note a USPS restricted information paper saying, LOL, if it doesn't fit, it's going somewhere else. And it's been stated to leave packages, whether you're home or not. Risher says while the note had many choice words, none of them included where he could actually find his package. I had just kind of been through a lot at that point and was really stressed out, like, you know, I just wanted my, my package. Risher's landlord says many packages are stolen from that building, even though the door locks from the outside. And sure enough, the first person I ran into also recently had a package stolen from him. So I was out about $160 out of pocket. This time it was through FedEx, but Blakeman says they weren't to blame. They had put the door tag on and said if you signed it, it's you're liable at that point, which I guess makes sense, but it would still be nice if they could do something. Blakeman says when he went to his post office to make sure his mail wouldn't go missing again, they seemed short-staffed. There was a line going out the door and there actually there were people there that would just kind of walk on by, you know, employees that must have had other duties, but they don't seem to really care about getting the line moving or helping their customers as much that are in there. And there's one other mishandled package worth mentioning here. A Fargo woman wishing to remain anonymous shared emails she sent to the USPS, saying she drove around for an hour looking for her Zulily package, only to find it properly addressed to her, but in front of the wrong home. I sent her emails and Risher's note to corporate communications and received back an email saying they contacted the customer who experienced the mishandled package and apologized. In Fargo, Rosenskowitz, Valley News Live. To read the USPS's full statement, head to our website, valleynewslive.com, and click on the story. We've sent a public information request to the United States Postal Service for more answers and are waiting on that.